Welcome back. This is Dan Haby with CF Ninja Hacks, and in this video, we're going to continue looking at our footers, but now we are going to look at the legal pages that are attached to the footers. So let's go down and take a look at my footer, and we'll click on the privacy policy. And what you're going to notice is it opens up as a pop up over the screen. It doesn't take the person off the page, it doesn't reload the page with the privacy policy, it doesn't open up another window, it does it right on the page. And that's the way I think it should be done because that keeps people from being able to leave your site. So you can see the site is still in the background and the privacy policy popped up over the top. And we can X that out, we can do the same thing for our terms of service. And you see it just comes up right over the top. It's loading a little bit slowly because I am recording at the time. But the whole thing just pops up right over the page. And it keeps them from leaving you. So let's X that out and let's uh, take a look at how we get this all set up. For the first thing I do is I create a funnel that I just called it Legal Pages. And inside of that funnel, let's uh, back out of here. Let's leave this. So inside of this funnel, I have a privacy policy, I have a disclaimer page, and then I have a number of terms of service. And the reason why I have these different terms of service is because the way I have it set up, I enter the domain name inside of the terms of service. Let me just click on one right here. And then let's open up the terms of service. And the page could not be any simpler. You have a section up here at the top, and we'll just click on this. You're gonna see it has a white background, and I got some padding set just to make it look okay, and a 25 top margin, and otherwise it's just square, nothing else special on this. I have one line of text that says Terms of Service. I have a secondary line of text that's kind of grayed out that has the name of my LLC. I'll just click on that for a second. So it's got 12 pixel size, and then the text color is 50%, and so that's why it's grayed out a little bit, and it's pretty small. Then there is a divider element, and you saw how we worked with divider elements in the past. So it's 100% centered, one pixel dotted, and it's uh, whatever this color amounts to right there, and it's got a 20 pixel top margin and then the custom JavaScript box holds what is the HTML text and we're going to talk about where you're going to get that from in a minute and so there's a secondary so there's another section here with another row so if you come up here and you look at it we have two sections and then we have uh, basically what amounts to two rows and a couple of elements. So it could not be any simpler how you put this page together. So now everybody asks the question, where do I get a, a privacy policy from? Where do I get all this stuff from? Well, the site where I got mine from is getterms.io. So here comes my legal disclaimer. I am not an attorney, so therefore I am not your attorney. So get legal counsel if you need it. But what you do is you come into this site, and it's real simple. You fill out a couple of bits of information so we can put in our web address, and they really should have an S in here. So we'll just say cfninjahacks.com, company name, real marketing, LLC, state is AZ, and effective as of today so we'll just click on today you put in the I understand and right here it says you should get your own legal counsel and then we will click generate terms and here it is we have our view in text mode and so here we have our privacy policy and of course you can read this if you would like and you can click back to top and then you can click on terms of service and you get the same or you can also view it in HTML and this is what we want to do is we want to view it in HTML because what you're going to do is you're just going to click on copy to clipboard your generated terms have been copied and then what we're going to do from there is come back in here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another custom JavaScript HTML box because I don't want to mess up what I already have in here even though I could just back out without saving it but let's just add a new one. We will click on it, open the code editor, and we will paste it in. 
And then, of course, you're going to want to go through and read the whole thing, make sure everything is correct, make sure it meets whatever legal standards you have for putting it in or what your attorney says should be in here. And then that's it. Come out and just click on save. But again, I'm just going to back out because I don't want to save this right now. Now let's go back up. Let's take a look at the privacy policy again. Now what I noticed here is when I did this originally, let's go back to the text view, it does put in the domain name into the privacy policy. And the one I originally did a couple of years ago, it did not have that in there. So again, you can play around with this however you want, rewrite it however you want, but copy it to the clipboard, come back into your funnel, Go create a page for your privacy policy. Again, that looked very much the same. And again, when I originally did this, I think they had a disclaimer as well. So they must have put the terms of service and the disclaimer together or the privacy policy and disclaimer together. I really don't know. But really, all you have to do then is just create the privacy policy and the terms of service. But again, seek legal counsel to make sure I'm not full of it. And again, very simple, just two sections, two rows, a little bit of text, the custom JavaScript HTML box, and you just pop all that HTML code right in there. And that's all you need to do to get this set up. Now we have one more step to be able to finish out our footer. Here's the footer we started in the last video. So we're going to come back in here and what we want to do is we want to go to publishing because what we want to do is you saw with the CF Ninja hacks how when I clicked on this, it, it was a pop-up over the site. Well, this is known as a click pop inside of ClickFunnels. So we have to go in and we have to get the click pop code and we have to put that into our footer template right here. So we're going to go back into the page and under publishing, we're going to go to get click pop code. So I have to jump in here right now because ClickFunnels has made a change. It's now about 14 months later. It's October of 2020. I'm wearing my COVID beard right here. And I want to jump in here because there's a slight change that you have to make to this code in order to get it to work exactly how I'm going to show you. So right here on the screen, it's kind of fuzzy. But when you copy that out, this is the code you're going to get right up here at the top. Now what I'm going to show you in a second is you're going to come in here and you're going to split this apart into two different sections. The part up here at the top is the actual URL that you're going to put into the navigation element. But down here at the bottom is what I'm going to show that you put into the settings page. And I'll just show you that over here real quick. So it's going to go into the settings right here inside of your funnel. You're going to put it in there, then you're going to save it. But what you're going to see right here is my old code that I used from before it says cfpop.js right there. The new code that you're going to get outside or out of the click pop that you just opened up here, that is going to say, let me pull this up on the screen a little bit. That is going to say cf underscore modal.js. And so because of that, this technique does not work, except if you go in and you change this to pop. So where it says underscore modal, just take that out and put in the word pop. And then you're going to want to put it into your settings uh, in, in the funnel. So that way it propagates uh, funnel wide. Now, the other thing here is if you do want to use the regular click pop function where you can put a link in here, because that's what this is here. That's the anchor text for the link. If you want to use it that way, or you want to use it as your custom image link, you can do that. In the past, this didn't work right, and I think it was because they had this code messed up here. And so now it works. So what you can do is actually take both of these. Take the original version like this, which will work on the custom link text and the custom image link right there, and put both of them into your settings. So now you have the one with the CF pop and the one with the CF modal. So going forward now, you're going to going to know, um, know that. That's why I want to jump in here early on the video. So as I'm going through this and you see me working with this, just remember where it says underscore modal. Take that part out and put in pop instead. And we're going to click on that and we are going to copy it. 
and we're going to put it into a text editor. And whenever you're working in a text editor, make sure you're working in plain text mode. Or you can get some funky uh, quotes around the text. So just look at your text and make sure that all the quote marks are straight up and down and not curly. Now this code is made up of two parts. So we will knock these two parts out here. So we got a script part right here, which will be the same for all of your click pop codes, no matter where they are throughout all of ClickFunnels. So you can take this code and you can put it anywhere. And I'll show you what I like to do, which is I like to put it into the settings, into the header tracking code of the settings, or actually the footer tracking code of the settings, and put that in there. And then you can have the pop-up on as many pages as you want within that funnel, and you only have to put in the code one time. So the other bit of code we want to look for is right here. It's uh, where it starts with HTTPS, and it'll be your ClickFunnels subdomain, and you're just gonna come in and copy this out. So we're gonna click on Copy, and then we're going to go into, let's pull this down. We're gonna go into our template, and this was the privacy policy, I do believe we were on. Yes, privacy policy. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna go into our nav menu, we're going to come down to privacy and we're going to take out that pound sign and we're going to paste in that address. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this code right here and we are going to do command copy. Let's save this page. We're going to bounce out of here and we're going to come into the settings of our page. And we're going to come down to the body tracking code. And we're going to pull this down a little bit. And you can see I already have this in here because I already have this set up on this site. And so it's the exact same code. And so I just put in a little message above the top here, a little remark above the top, just letting me know that this is the um, click pop code for ClickFunnels. So we'll just take this out. And then after you put in that bit of code, you don't need this part at the top. That was just for me. And then you come down to the bottom and click on Save and Update. Now we can repeat this process for the rest of the pages as well. So let's say we have, let's X this out. Let's say then we have our Terms of Service for our site. We would click on Publishing. And then again to the Click Pop code. And you just click on the content. You copy it. Come back into our text editor and put it in there. And then again, we'll just take out this bottom part. You'll see it's exactly the same as the one above. And then what we're going to do again is we're just going to grab out this URL. We're going to copy that. And we're going to open up the nav menu again. And this time under terms of service, we'll take out the hashtag. We will paste it in. And again, we are done and we can click save. So now we have one thing left on the page. Like I said, you probably just remove the disclaimer now because they changed how they're doing their terms. So you just do your terms of service and your privacy. You can make a disclaimer if you want. Again, seek legal counsel. And then there's one thing left here. Let's take a look at it. And it is the support tab. And what I do there is I put in an email address. And so let's just go grab the code because I kind of forget it off the top of my head every time I do this. So we'll come down, we'll open up the nav menu down here, and let's just take out what is here, this link under support, and we'll drop it into our text editor again, and let's just take a look at it. So it says, mail to, and then we have our email address, support at cfninjahacks.com, question mark subject equals. So the question mark subject equals is going to tell the email editor what to put into the subject line of the email. So again, it's simply mail to and then your email address where you want it to go to and then question mark subject equals and then what you want the subject line to be. So let's just take that and we will put it in here. So under support, we'll take out the hashtag. 
So as long as I'm making some corrections here, I'm going to do one more thing. Because what I found over the years is that uh, not everybody has an email that can open up when they click on this link. So if you look down here in the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see what I was just talking about. The mail to colon support at cfninjahacks.com question mark subject equals CF Ninja Hacks membership. And what I found though is, is if you click on this on your cell phone, of course, it'll automatically open up your email. And and on a Mac like I have right here, if you click on that, it'll automatically open up your email. But a lot of people don't have that, that the email will open up automatically because they're just using Gmail or some other third party that is not in any way connected to their computer. So what I started doing a while ago is just putting in here what the email address is that they can get support at. So if they click on this and it doesn't go anywhere, they can just copy that and go straight away to the page. And so that's what I have here is what I have on mine is support at cfninjahacks.com. And that, of course, is then the anchor text. So right here where it says link text of support, I just changed that to support at cfninjahacks.com. And that's what then makes this uh, show up here like you would uh, expect it to. So, so that was it. I just want to jump in there on that one last thing. We will paste it in and we will click on save. And after it's done saving, we'll click on preview. And if I did everything right, when we click on terms of service, the terms of service box should come up. And it did. We can X that out. Same thing with privacy. That worked just fine. And now let's check on support. When I click on that, it should open up my email editor and open up a new email for me to fill out. And it did that as well, and it properly populated the two email address and also the subject line. So that is it for this video for setting up your legal pages and getting them put into your footer. And then again, um, as we did before, don't forget to do this. Once you get this done for real now this time, go back up, save it, and create yourself a new template. And then that'll be the template you can use on all of your pages. So in the next video, we're going to take a look at the email footer, both the SMTP footer, which I kind of glossed over in an earlier video, and then also the footer that will go into your email itself.